Hi everyone, this is S.E. Wingless. And today, I decided to make a, another animation video. In today's video, I'm going to be animating a highway scene. So, as you see right here, I dropped a car. And this pick right here will be the bridge. And then these these pictures right here are supposed to be the the building. So I mean not much frames are gonna be used for this project, but you'll see that you don't need that many frames to make an animation like this. So here is everything that I'm gonna be using for the animation. Then I load, load it up into Photoshop. But the pictures that I want to have moving will be in red. In this case, I'll have the car red and white and the buildings in red and white. And the bridge, I'll keep it, I'll keep it green. The only thing about this animation is that the car is gonna be the only drawing that's not gonna be moving. Instead, what I did with the car, I basically made another copy of the car and have it kind of like squish it a little bit, like squish the image of the car a little bit. So that way, when I take it into animation, I can swap out the squish image of the car and the regular image of the car, and it will give it the effect that the car is moving. So this is everything I'm going to be using for that animation. And then now it's time to take it into Anime Studios. As you see right here, you see all these dots on the bottom. Those dots represent how many times I'm swapping out the image of the vehicle with it being a regular size and the car being its squish size. As for the bridge, um, I made multiple copies of the bridge and I placed it all together. What I'm going to be doing for the bridge is make the bridge go from one end of the, of the animation to the next and so on for the other copies of the bridge. I'm not going to count how many bridges I used because I actually forgot how many bridges that was used for this. Um, the most efficient way to use this, um, I guess, little technique is if I were to take it into Photoshop and make copies of the bridge that way and then um, save it so that way it'll be one large file instead of just making copies within Anime Studios. That way when you take it into Anime Studios, all you're just doing is taking one part of the, the image and bringing it across to the next instead of just taking a lot of images in anime studios and then trying to get all those images to go in sync with each other going from one end to the next because the way i did it it was, it was a lot more difficult so mental note make copies in photoshop and just save it as is and just make one large image As for the buildings, the buildings are off screen, but I have it so that within the end of the animation, the buildings will be going to the other side of the video. And I mean, same thing applies for the building, so like if you want to keep it that close, it's best to save it on one image on Photoshop and then just bring it to Anime Studios. That way you don't have that problem where it's like you're trying to keep two images in sync with each other. Because sometimes when you do that separate, you'll have one image that's going slow and sometimes um, you'll get another image that's going fast, which makes it an inconvenience and then 
you have to backtrack and figure out a way how to get it moving on the same pace as the the image that you wanted to be on par with. The big line that's over the bridge in the car, I guess it's supposed to represent the water. So that's what I have it. And what you basically want to do with the animation, just have the bridge on the bottom going fast and the buildings on top going slow. And the car for like every two frames, you just swap out the image for the car. So it gives it an effect that the car is moving while the car is just staying in place. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope this helps because this this not only can be applied to a driving scene, you can apply it to any scene that kind of used the same formula. So if you like what you see, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.